<laughs> this is probably going. Are you good at editing on this thing? No, not really. Oh no, this is gonna be a bad one. <laughs> Am I in the frame good? Uh huh. Okay. How do I start? <laughs> oh gosh. Hey guys, I'm back again to do another video for the Harmans channel. This week is wacky weapons. So, not your average knife, machete, you know, something different. And it don't have to be the same weapon throughout the whole movie. So, I chose Happy Birthday to Me from 1981. This has a pretty good sized cast and I'm not going to list everybody because I'm not good with names. But, can you see my papers? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, this has Melissa Sue Anderson, who was in Little House on the Prairie. And she also played Sasha's mom on the Veronica Mars movie, which I thought that was interesting. I did not know that. I don't know if that was, you know, if you could actually see her, because it said uncredited, and I don't know what that means <laughs> half the time. But, anyways. I thought that was interesting. This also has Glenn Ford, who looks very familiar, and I have no idea what he's off of. He's like super famous, ain't he? <laughs> okay, and another thing I wanted to point out, um, this has Jack Blum, I don't know if I'm saying that right, and Matt Craven, and they were both in Meatballs and Hog Wild, and also this movie. That crazy three movies together so that's kind of interesting fact there could have been other facts like that that are interesting but I didn't do a lot of research so speaking of wacky weapons there this killer is more like a weapon of opportunity type killer uses anything that is around that they can use to kill the person so for instance my favorite kill scene in this movie was a shish kebab through the mouth. I thought that was very interesting. And it even had the all the like veggies and meats or whatever on it as they were being stabbed. And I was like, oh, okay, but yeah, that's gross. And then, so somebody got killed with a razor blade. First they were strangled, but then they got their throat slit with a razor blade. That's kind of common, I guess you would say. Razor blades come up a lot, but Somebody also got killed with a weight. Like, they got a weight dropped on their crotch, and then the weight they were trying to lift, which was really too heavy, because the killer added way too much extra pounds to it. And it just came down and, like, went across their neck, and that was, like, so totally gross. But, yeah, fun! <laughs> um, hello. <laughs> also, one of the people got uh, killed by their scarf getting wrapped around a motorcycle tire and it just kind of cheese grated them in their face and that was really lovely yeah and one of my favorite characters alfred ended up getting stabbed with garden shears and i thought he was interesting because he liked to stuff animals and he had a head that was replicated from one of the girls that are actually missing so it made you kind of think he was the killer at one point this was very a movie mystery type thing because you don't know who the killer is and there's multiple people that look like they could be the killer and I thought that was kind of fun and interesting I mean by the whole time you're you're just like oh is that the killer well guess not they died and you're like, oh, is that the killer? Guess not. They <laughs> By the end of it, it completely takes a twist. And it was, it was a fun shock. And I liked it. So, another interesting weapon, which sometimes is common, is a fire poker. One of the people get killed with fire poker. Which, you know, that happens a lot in movies. But it's not your average weapon I guess you would say like a knife so I absolutely love the cast I thought they, this is a good cast most of them look familiar even though I couldn't place what everybody was off of um, but I really like the cast they did a great job good acting um, it had good gore and it wasn't like overly gory 
to me, which sometimes I don't like things overly gory. I know y'all probably do, but sometimes that makes me sick. The thing that got me the most was the medical procedure in this movie. There was like a brain surgery and they like, you know, cut the head open and cut the skull and you could see the brain and yeah, that got me the most more than any of the kills. <laughs> so that was fun. <laughs> So if uh, you think this is interesting and you want to check it out, most of y'all probably have seen this, but I mean, it's a really good 80s slasher and I really did enjoy it and uh, check out the Horror Man channel and let's continue to do these awesome reviews. <laughs> Look, I'm asking you, I was standing right here the whole time. But I'm like, yeah, but you know, you, you're distracted by all the stuff well, around. Had, there was something, there was a bug on my face. Okay, I'm stopping the video. <laughs>